What's up everyone, my name is of course Tom and welcome to TechStream. Today we've got another Razer product in the studio. We haven't had one in for a little while and what we are looking at today is the Razer Siren Emote, a USB condenser microphone with a bit of a twist. So first of all, we'll start off by taking a quick look around the box. It's your typical black and green Razer packaging, nice little tag at the top. And uh, it just lists sort of what it is. It's got an 8-bit emotion, what they, saw, what they call an emotion display. Um, it is USB, it is a hypercardioid condenser microphone. Hypercardioids basically mean tight pattern. Um, comes with a few extra little bits. Yeah, okay, so let's take a look at the inside. So in the box, typical good quality razor packaging. We've got a few little extras in here. We'll start off with a nice USB cable, as with most razor products I've tested. Good, good length, yeah, I believe it's a six foot cable. All braided, nice thick quality, comes with little protector caps on there as standard. We do have the base. We've then got two options for stands, a long gooseneck, and if I can get it out, a short little dumpy option. And then finally, the microphone itself. We'll take that little cover off. We can get it off. So that is the microphone. We do have the stand with two options for attaching it and a cable. So we'll go through the actual microphone itself. Now, if we take a look at it, it is, I must admit, it's a bit light, it's a bit plasticky. Um, mostly plastic, for, from the feel of it at least, mostly plastic enclosure. Uh, you do have mesh front and back. Or I say front and back, technically front with the buttons and back with the Razer logo. Um, Taking a look at the bottom, we've got a nice thick thread, but this thread is plastic, so when you are screwing things in, you do need to be careful, make sure you don't cross thread them. Also on the bottom, micro USB and a headphone output as well. Um, must admit, not a massive fan of the plastic thread. I can't see it being a major problem, just you have to be careful when you screw it in, because plastic and metal could be easy to cross thread. We do also have a volume button. This is a volume button for your headphones and a mic on, mic off button. Relatively simple. So let's pop it onto the stand and I can show you how well it sits. Now the stand is all metal, quite weighty, sits there very, very well. And it also does have a swivel so you can angle it to point at you a little bit better. So obviously on the stand, you have it pointing towards you. The front with the Razer logo, this is where the fancy bits happen. This is where the little LED 8-bit display is. Basically, it's an 8x8 um, RGB array is the best way to describe it. And then the back with the buttons on faces you. That is where you speak into. So, it's a, so, so far, a nice solid setup. That sits on the desk very well. There is a built-in shock mount. The shock mount is actually inside the microphone. And if we pop this off, I can show you the other mount, which is the gooseneck. And again, being very careful just to make sure that you do not cross thread that base. So this is the other option, which is for a gooseneck, which basically enables you to have a twist and a lean or a bend it over sort of thing to have it sit, but obviously it does tip over. So, yeah, it, nice sturdy product. Let's take a quick look at this cable. So like I said, it is a decent length, six foot cable, um, micro USB on one end, standard USB on the other, typical razor coloring of green. And the cable literally plugs straight into the bottom there and job done. That then plugs into your computer. It is a plug and play microphone, partly. Plug this in, it will just work as a microphone straight out of the box. No software needed or anything. The other thing I'm not a massive fan of, micro USB. It's fragile is the best way to describe it. 
realistically you're not going to be unplugging it and plugging it in all of the time but the mini USB rather than micro I do think is a more reliable connection it's a bit sturdy it's a bit bigger maybe would have been nice to see that or even better USB-C um, reversible you can't get it wrong but yeah it's a it's a good product it's relatively well built a bit plasticky quite light I've got a uh, 8020 the USB version of the 802020 over there um, lovely microphone very heavy compared to the siren but overall build quality yeah it's good the stand is very solid the 80 came with a horrendous little tripod which for a microphone of the price that they are was a bit underwhelming the nice stand that this comes with is most definitely usable you could personally be not a massive fan of the gooseneck makes it quite tall um, but obviously you do need to have this part on display so that is the microphone itself what we need to do now is the fun bit so what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to disappear the rest of this video is actually going to be recorded or the next part of this video should I say is going to be recorded using this microphone because what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug this into my PC show you this display how it works how to set it up and how to get it going on that after that we'll be coming back to the studio for some conclusions right then guys so now we are going to be taking a look at the software that you require to run this razor siren emote you actually need two bits of software firstly you need to install razor's synapse software after installing the synapse you do require chroma connect and then you require this streamer companion app. All of this is available from the Razer website. So once you have installed Synapse, you've got your Razer Connect software, you then need to make sure and you install the streamer companion app, and then you need to just to make sure that it's enabled up by here. Once we've done that, we can then open our streamer companion app. And the first thing it will do, it'll ask you to log into your Twitch and your Streamlabs. Um, Twitch and Streamlabs, I've got this link to my accounts here. And then you will get this display, which allows you to set up and edit and create other different devices and reactions. So as you can see here, we have Twitch and Streamlabs. So if you're using Twitch, you can set up reactions for uh, follows, subscriptions, uh, general or gifted alerts. You can set up all different ones. Cheers is chat messages. Chat messages is quite clever. Um, you can have an alert based on length of chat message that is sent, or you can have one set up by chat message. So you could create one that if somebody says, uh, good game, GG, you could create an emote that only reacts to GG um, and have that pop up on your thing whenever somebody says good game and if I just quickly set to test you can actually see what pops up on the microphone and these can all be changed by clicking this little change emote uh, let's change that to licking lips and if I click on test again oh, we have licking lips you can have this to end after a certain amount of time as well um, all available in this and you can create lots of different chat alerts um, chat alerts is the, the big one on this where there's lots of options you've also got the option for host first thing you have to do is enable um, so show an alert on chrome and devices when there is at least one viewer for example you add your device raise a siren emote also with this you can actually set it up to do per key and chroma rgb um, setup if you are using uh, other razor bits of kit i do have one of their keyboards and mice and have actually set all this lot up in the past as well um, and again same thing you choose your emote um, you have colors uh, so let's test that there we go and we've basically got a little spectrum going round and round in circles you can have static colors things like that um, raids and things like that uh, you can also set up your donations with Streamlabs. This one I quite like, the big flashing heart. I must admit the effect on the display is a lot better than I was expecting. And then the other thing you can also do is you can just set up 
a background and it will just sit there you can have it as a just a static color um, it will now just sit there on blue you can also just have an emote uh, for example I quite like the where was it I think it was quite applicable for text stream, a bit similar to what we do just a little spiral there and you can just have that sitting there going round and round and that will basically sit there and do that to its heart content until something happens in any of these options so there we go that is pretty much it you can also though don't forget have the editor so you can create your own uh, setup let's put some I don't know let's change those to orange uh, let's change those to blue and then if we click on preview that is effectively what I have designed you can also import gifs as well as design them in this and then you can create them you can rename them so that is custom alert one custom alert two if I just I don't know set that as yellow ah sorry rather that that was my mistake rather than being under emote if you scroll to the bottom you have your custom alerts that you created now with these custom ones they are fixed only at the moment you cannot create animations I do believe there is something in the pipeline to possibly change that as for if or when it will come to fruit we will see but you simply create that and you go back to your alerts and rather than having emote or anything like that custom alerts down at the bottom you can just create them to whatever but you've also got all these other options um, wave which is quite a cool little one um, starlight I quite liked just twinkling stars uh, quite a nice for a background I thought the that one was unfortunately the only options are emote and static bit of a shame but hey um, so there we go that is the software uh, relatively easy to use as you can also see the microphone sounds pretty good um, I'm not in the optimal position I am slightly off axis uh, while recording this because I'm attempting to show you the screen and record the screen and listen to me all at the same time but there we go that is the streamer companion app relatively easy and simple to set up uh, no major problems had and you can set up quite a variety of different things with your Twitch and Streamlabs just to show all of your streamers what is going on it's just a nice little sort of visual cue as to what is going on with your stream rather than having to have something pop up on the screen obviously you have a pop up on the screen as well but it's just a little it's one of those quirky little visual cues so there we go guys that is it for this we will now head back to me in the studio where we will do some final conclusions so there we go guys we have now been through the little display there on the razor emote the siren emote sorry and i've obviously you've seen how it or heard how it sounds so what do i actually think of the siren emote is it a bit gimmicky it it is a bit gimmicky but then i think if you've got like a, a bit of a fun streaming channel um the little addition of that if you can position that so that your streamers can see it um it's a decent sounding microphone and it's just got a little something to it's feedback and it's interaction between you and your streamers without you having to effectively do anything um so having hearts pop up when people give you subs or dollar signs when people give you donations all quite cool and you can have it set as you saw so that you can have it just as a static thing doing something when nothing's going on in your stream um, or nobody's commenting things like that so yeah it's good it's not cheap though so pricing I think I believe in the UK it is around about 170 quid you can buy a lot of pro mic for 170 pound but this is a streamer's mic. It does have a bit of razor tax, but I think razor tax is, people call it razor tax, but effectively it is razor software development. The razor software is just so much better than everything else on the market that that is where this razor tax goes. It is spent on developing such good bits of software like that. So do I actually like it? Yes, definitely. Will I be using it? Yes, it will be going getting put in my setup. Is it perfect? No. Um, I'm not a massive fan of the plastic on it, but it does mean it is very light and it does sit on a shock mount well. The micro USB, okay, as long as you don't unplug it and plug it in and you're careful with the cable, it won't be a problem. 
And again, the same with the plastic thread. Once you've got it set up, it's not going to be a major problem because once it's connected, you're not going to be unscrewing it. So, is it good? Yes. The sound quality was good. The only time I ever had a problem, I did initially plug it in with a USB extension cable. And I don't know why, it's not something I've had before, but plugged into an extension cable, I was getting some weird noise down the, down the microphone. Don't know, I ditched the extension, just went with the direct one that Razer included, the high quality cable. The noise disappeared. I haven't bothered to record that or show it because it was just in my initial testing. But it's one thing to note, if you are finding that your quality is maybe a little bit down, maybe you're getting some hissing or some popping, which is what I had, check your USB cable. If you're not using just the original Razer, problem, uh, Razer cable, your problem could be lying there. But on the whole, the Razer Siren Emote, yes, if you're looking for a pricey microphone that is something a little bit extra, something a bit fun to give to your streamers, definitely check it out. I will put some links down below as to where you can buy one, as always, and it is going to be a big thumbs up for me. So there we go, guys. That is about it for today. This is the Razer Siren Emote. I'm Tom from TechStream. Thank you very much. And if you want to see more of me, click that little subscribe button. Bye for now.